Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can balance the ASA GTI in a proper way. The problem with the ASA GTI is that it's an Altas mount. And uh, if you use it as is intended, you probably put on this side of the mount a quite long and heavy scope. It could be a Maxuto 127mm, which alone weighs like 3.5 kilos, could be a small Newton, like, I don't know, um, 130, 650 millimeter. You can, it can use a C5. You can use other type of uh, heavy payload. Now, even if this is just for observing or for short exposure, you could, in principle, not balance the payload because the mount should keep it. But in the long run, you are stressing the motor. I mean, you have like three kilos of at least weight on this side, nothing on that side, down there you have quite a lot of stress. So it is nice also to balance the payload when you work with in Altas mode. So what you need to balance is a counterweight shaft. This comes from Artisky with as well with some extra weight you can pop at the end of the bar. And then you need a counterweight like this. This is a Bresser, two kilograms. The shaft here is um 20 millimeter in diameter and the thread is an M12 metric. Okay, so you need to balance uh, how you do it. If it's in Altas mode, uh, you, you don't have really an easy way to test if you are balancing the azimuth. Um, you can do it by try feeling the rotation, but the ASA GTI by itself has quite a stiff rotation for the azimuth. And so what you can do is to pop everything on a table and try to balance. And we will see how to do it. This procedure, though, is much more important if you do deep sky astrophotography with the ASA GTI. Now, the stiffness of what will be the right ascension degrees of freedom is so that if you don't have a super great imbalance, uh, the mount will not turn it by itself. So you can either fill it pushing back and forth the payload, but it's, things get complicated and it's, it's difficult to, to find the right, the right spot. So people usually complain about this tight spot and they try to open the mount and try to eliminate it with some more or less sound solutions. So I had a video about tuning the ASA GTI, but I really prefer not to loosen things up too much so i prefer a slight stiff rotation rather than a very smooth one something that you can turn with a pin with your pinky because i'm sure that with the use and in time you will develop play this mount is not a prograded mount we should not expect to work as smoothly as other mount you can fix problem though uh, my AZ GTI was so stiff that rather than turn on its base, it was it was preferring to unscrew from the tripod. That of course is a problem, and so I open things, I open the mount up, and I tune it. Now it doesn't happen anymore, but still, I have kind of a tight spot, and the rotation is not very smooth. So the idea is that you can balance on the on a table. You need your payload in the configuration you use it when you uh, mount it on the AZ GTI. You need a marker and you need your counterweight. Now, you can see down there, I have the dovetail that is come from Artesky. And what I like of this, first of all, is that it can take a polar scope or a pole master, should you need it. Uh, I like that there is this possibility. So this screw can grab the base of the ASA GTI and help in the rotation. So you should prevent that the ASA GTI will unscrew when you rotate things by hand. Um, the other things I like is this stopper down here. This stopper is, is there because when you mount it on a latitude base, it should not, should you by mistake, let it loose, it will slide and then stop rather than fall over. 
and you can use this stop to balance in declination. Now, let's put the mount on the table. You see that it's quite easy to wobbly back and forth because it's resting on this stopper down there, which is quite thin. Now let's put, let's consider my payload, one payload. Now this is the Samyang 135 mm F2 with guiding scope, AZ224MC for guiding camera. My ZW AZ 183MC as an imaging camera. And then I prefer to keep um, the cable short for better cable management to have my AZ Air mounted at the back of the uh, imaging camera. So this is my configuration minus the cable, which should not wait that much. So what we are doing, we are doing to, we are going carefully without trying not to knock everything over, we mount it and we clamp it in position. And now we try to feel where the mount falls. Now, of course, there is no weight, so the mount is overwhelmingly falling forward. So we will put also the counterweight on the shaft and we try to have a rough balance so we don't need something Something that doesn't fall over, something like so. Now, this is not the exact final balance uh, for the right ascension. We will do that in a moment. Now that the, um, say, now that the pale, the mount doesn't fall forward anymore, well, you can start feeling where it falls sideways. Now, this setup, this declination is clearly nose heavy. You see that it's falling toward you. So what I can do is to slide it back on the dovetail and now see where it's tend to tip on the back side. And so something like, so I reckon could be, it feels quite stable. I can make a wiggling a bit and it will go back in position. So now that I found my declination, what I will do is to use a marker, hopefully not black on black, but you can also put some post-it, a tape. Um, I would use, I would rather use a tape like this one that is uh, fluorescent, fluorescent so that you can see it even in the dark. So I will do the, I will cut some strip, a couple of strip of this, and I will stick it on the dovetail so that I know where the dovetail should be clamped to have balance in declination. Now we can also rotate a bit for as much as the table allows. And you see that it's still, still going, good, going back. Let's try to raise things up, still balancing. So I'm happy with this balance in declination. Now, how do we test it for the RA? Now we put the stopper for the counterweight on the bar. I use the lightest, the lightest uh, weight I had. This is my old bar that I was using is a threaded road M12. Um, so that, that was given a bit of problem because it's very small with compared to the whole of the counterweight. So I had a lot of play. Now I can use this to balance in right ascension. When you balance in right ascension, you want to have this side of the mount more or less weighting as much as what you have on the side of the counterweight. And uh, you achieve the balance by sliding up and down your counterweight. In some mounts it's better, to, usually you don't want to have an extreme perfect balance because then there is no tension on the internal gears of the mount and you can develop some backlash or you can have some play. So you, in the northern hemisphere, is often nice to have um, east heavy balance. That means that if this is my, let's say I have, the cam I have the camera this side of my mount and I have the counterweight on this side of the mount and I'm looking north. So to have an east heavy balance, it means that the side of the counterweight should tend to pull, well, should be slightly heavier than what I have on my left, that is the payload. So something like that. And this is working 
in a way that you are um, you are basically keeping engaged the gears inside the mount. So if we want to do that, well, uh, let's put the mount. This will be due north for the Asia GTI. So let's do it this way. And now if I have the mount like so, then this is pointing north, my counterweight is east. Okay, so let's put my bar here on the table and I have the nut, the nut so that it prevents this bar to roll off and make things difficult. And now we try to place the, the bar exactly where there is the, the big screw. That's the center where your mount is screw on the tripod. And uh, again, the, this nice stopper here is a good thing because it's, I can put it in contact with my bar. Now I know what I need to do is to balance this. Now it's clearly is heavy, but quite a lot. So I can put the counterweight closer. Now start to tip over. Now this is clearly nose heavy, so I don't like that. So maybe something like so. That's still tipping over. Yeah, something here. Yeah. Something like that. So now if I let it go and I am pretty much flat, it's going to tend to fall on the counterweight side, but not really in a dramatic way. So I think now I have the balance. So what I do is take my marker and draw a line here at the end of the counterweight. And uh, if I have multicolor markers, I know that maybe the red mark is for balancing this payload. Uh, a blue mark, maybe uh, to balance my C5. And the red mark will be to balance my Evo Guide 50D. So I have three different setup. The counterweight, they, they are pretty much different in weight. So the counterweight will move from one setup to the next and so I can mark the position and simply when I'm in the field clamp my dovetail while I have the marks between the marks that I will make to balance in the inclination and put the counterweight behind the proper mark for the type of setup I'm trying to balance. So this way you do the uh, balancing ones you don't care so much about the stiffness of the rotation. The motor will compensate. It's not a real problem, except if it's an extreme um, tight spot where you really stall the motor. And um, so you will have a quick way of balanced things in the field without saying to try to feel it. You know that you did your test in the comfort of your house. Just put things where the marks are and you have a good uh, balance. You have achieved a good balance. So the final test is to put everything on the tripod and undo the clutch and try to move things around. Everything seems smooth, no problem there. And if you want, you can close the clutch and take the SynScan Pro, crank it up, crank the speed up to 9 and then see how the mount work when you rotate around. You should not see the feel the engine uh, struggling or the noise, the, 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 the gear getting too noisy. Everything seems good uh, and so there you go. This is how you can balance your Acer GTI in the comfort of your house. You mark things down so that when you are in the field, you know exactly what you are doing for the type of payload you are using and test the fastest and best way to um, balance the payload with the ASA GTI. So thanks for watching and see you next time.